Okay, let's get started. We'll start in a child's pose, please. So bring your hips down to your heels and settle your forehead to the floor. You can start with your legs pressed or apart. You can begin to extend the arms in front of you or back behind you. Um, begin to fill out a space uh, for your body today that feels comfortable or feels like you can allow yourself to settle into the posture with ease. Allow your jaw to soften. Allow your face to hang heavy. And start to become aware and conscious of uh, your breath. So hear your inhales and start to feel your back rise and your ribs expand. And as you exhale, feel yourself heavy and soften a little closer toward the floor, toward your mat, using these really simple uh, sensory windows to come a little closer to the experience of yourself. So hear and feel and start to just become conscious of your breathing and then start to deepen it over your next couple of minutes. So start to take in some breath that feels like you're stretching your capacity and begin to elongate your exhale. Now we start here uh, every class with Yoga to the People using this moment to lay the groundwork for your, for, your, for your practice. So no matter how things show up, no matter how things feel, no matter if things feel unexpected or bigger or stronger or a little bit more tense than expected, you always have this really clear space to come back to. Um, it can live inside of a moment of rest like this, and it can most definitely live inside of the moments that feel challenging, and maybe even that's where it can be most useful. So just know that it's never about what it looks like, but completely about what it feels like. If you ever need to come back to a place where things feel a little bit more simple, you can always come back to this child whenever you need it. Let's take a breath. So begin to exhale. Now empty out your lungs with an SH. And draw in a really deep breath through your nose. Fill it up all the way to the brim and hold it at the top. And then let it go with an H A H. Okay, so that vibrational breath is yours. Like, please feel free to use it whenever you wish. Over your next couple of moments, start to walk your fingertips really far forward. Feel your arms lengthen and stretch. Heavy your hips toward your heels so that you can really elongate that stretch across side body. Maybe take a little roll of the forehead side to side to start to wake up the body with a little movement. And then spread your 10 fingers really wide. Start to flatten out your palms. Then roll your body weight forward and come onto all fours. Stack your shoulders directly over your wrists, hips over your knees. Your skull could fit between your two thumbs and between your knees to set up a nice distance. On your inhale, lift the gaze high and let your belly drop low. Awesome. On your exhale, scoop in your belly, tuck your chin to your chest and begin to round your back like a cat. Great. Inhale to lift the gaze. Press slightly through the heel of your palms, drag them toward your knees to draw your chest forward, shoulder blades down, and then exhale, belly into spine, round it out, and then continue to move through these cat cow tilts for a second. Really lay that groundwork of moving body and breath at the same time. So every inhale, look up. Nice, every exhale, tuck the chin, scoop the belly. Move it fast or slow, move it big or small. Just let it be a priority to inhale and move and exhale and move. Nice, over your next couple of moments, come back into a flat back or a neutral spine where we started. Feel shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Reach the right arm forward as you take your inhale and kick back to your left leg. So find an extension of opposite arm and leg, really feeling your body like stretch apart in two directions. Great, make sure your right palm is facing the left side of the room. That way your shoulder blade can lift down your back and lift your right arm a little higher. Now lift your left leg a little higher. Great, okay. keep reaching and keep breathing. Press the floor away with your palm, press the floor away with the top of your back foot. Give it one more inhale to reach long, lengthen and lift, give it some height. Nice, and then release it down to the floor and then switch it out, moving to the opposite side. So now it's left arm forward as you extend through your right leg. 
Now find a, a point or flex of your foot, but make sure you're reaching through the inner thigh really nice as you drop your outer hip down to keep your body level to the floor. Now keep your belly engaged and then extend away from that center through both ends. Give it one more inhale to reach long, lengthen and lift, and then release it back down to the floor. Great, now when you're back into your tabletop, come reach your right leg back, all the way back until your big toe touches the floor. Rotate your back foot down and then start to float your right arm up to the ceiling for an assisted sidearm plank. Now you're keeping your hips stacked together. And then as you reach your right arm high, look up and test your balance, look to the ceiling. Great, now you can stay here if you want a different extra challenge of balance, you can try and start to float your, your leg off the ground. Yes, and then reach your right arm over your face. Turn your palm down toward your ear to keep your shoulders soft. Looks great, Adina. Give it one more inhale to lengthen. And then hand down, knee down, back into your tabletop. And then you switch it up. Come back onto all fours, kick the left leg back, big toe down to the ground, rotate it flat, and then reach your opposite arm straight up to the ceiling. Nice. Keep your center really engaged. That way you find a really strong support right through the center, right through your core. Think hips up and ribs up, reach high and then drape the arm over your face, palm facing the floor, reaching toward the front of the room. Nice, and then maybe go for that float of your top leg off of the ground as you keep your core really stable, really strong. Really great, Yvonne. Give it one more inhale to lengthen. And then hand down, knee down, back into your tabletop. Take a few cat-cow tilts to smooth out and notice if you feel any like clench in your jaw, any tension, this is a great place to let it loose. So let the jaw be soft, the face be soft, right? Now, when you come back into that rounded spine, like a cat, you're gonna pause there. Keep your chin up, feel your navel pull in toward your spine and now tuck your toes and lift your knees just about an inch or two off the floor. All right, now keep spreading your fingers wide so palms are flat, you have a really broad base of support. Feel your low abdomen knit in, hover your knees just a couple inches above the ground. And as like sensation and heat builds, maybe a little anticipation of like a release moment, come back to breath, you got it. Keep breathing, empty out your lungs with an SH. Take a deep inhale through the nose, fill up your back body. And then exhale, hips high, downward facing dog, and start to move it around. So take some knee bends or take some hops. Use this uh, down dog as a diagnostic one. So move it around, roll forward into a plank, roll back into down dog, or take a few hops to energize it. Just kind of take stock. Notice how things fit today. Any sticky spaces, uh, especially sticky spaces, don't run away from them. Send some attention and some breath to them. Awesome. All right, I will clean it up. So pause and notice your hands, spread the fingers wide, press through the, uh, the heel of your palms, the underside of your knuckles, the pads of your fingertips, especially that L shape of thumb and index finger, alleviate any pressure out of your wrists. Press into the palms, use the muscles of your arms, scoop in your belly and lift your hips up, and then keep pressing with your hands and shift more weight back into your feet. Great, now on your inhale, float your right leg up just about halfway. So keep the hips level at first, flex the toes toward your face and kick your heel away from the press of your palms. Awesome, now inhale to lift it up high, roll open and start to stack your hips. So roll open, stack the hips and find some free moving action. So move through your hip socket, make circles with your knee, roll around through your ankle, crunch the toes. Exactly, move in a way that feels big or small, feels good. Feels energizing, feels like something to you. Great, now inhale, kick back through the leg, reach long through the leg and then slowly float it to the floor. Following inhale, it's left side. So keep pressing the palms evenly, kick the heel away from you, drop the hip down, extend through the inner thigh and then take a breath and float it up high. Roll it open, move it freely on left side. Both sides of you, probably not gonna feel the same. So feel free to move in a really different way. Bigger, smaller, Just let it feel good. or Let it feel like some work if that's what you feel like you need. Awesome, then inhale, kick back long, reach through your leg and then slowly float it down to the floor. 
Now take a soft bend behind both your knees, glance in between your palms, and take a few steps to the front of your mat. We'll meet in a forward fold. Allow your head to hang heavy. So the goal here is just to do a whole lot less. Maybe a shake out of the head. Maybe a little sway side to side. Maybe a pretty deep bend to your knees so your torso rests over your thighs and you feel a really nice at least through your low back. Let it drop. All right, nice. Then your next inhale, it's a half lift. So press palms, maybe to shins or thighs as leverage to reach the heart forward. Scoop your belly in, reach your chest forward, draw your shoulders down your back away from your ears. And as you extend your tailbone back behind you, reach your armpits away from your hip creases. Give it a deep breath, heart forward, and an exhale to release it. Let it go, forward fold. Awesome, now we'll do that a little swifter, just synced with breath. So inhale, half lift really long spine, and exhale, really, just let it go, forward fold. On your next inhale, rise up mountain pose, so stand tall and float your arms up so your biceps frame your ears. As you take a moment to settle into it, close your eyes so you can really settle into it. Now, no moment is too simple, no moment is too easy. It might be a really familiar space, but there's endless amounts of things to explore the simple space. As you get still physically, maybe things start to shift a little bit more internally with mind or with sensation. Always come back to breath. Keep watching. Feel your feet. Drop your mind into your feet. Shift the weight into your big toes. Shift the weight into your heels. Explore the corners of your feet and stand in a space that feels really grounded and really stable. Now, as you plug through the body of your feet and pull up on your thighs, Anchor your tail towards your heels, scoop in your lower belly to lift your rib cage a little higher off your waist, and then relax your shoulders soft down the back as you rotate pinkies in to rinse the shoulder blades really softly down, okay? Stay here, empty out your lungs. Inhale, really deep breath, and stay with an HA. Uh, Nice. On your next inhale, flutter the eyes open. Look up, reach up, grow tall to go back for your first back bend. Hips forward, heart high, and exhale, release. Forward fold, hinge at your hips. Nice. On your following inhale, rise up mountain pose and flow right into your back bend. So it's one sweeping motion with breath. Your exhale is your cue. Release it, let it go. And then take it once more on your own. So inhale, rise high. Think pelvis forward, chest up, and use your arms like you're trying to touch the wall behind you. Beautiful, exhale, release, forward fold. When you get to your forward fold, we'll meet there. Take a half lift to reset your spine. And exhale, release. Plant your palms down to the floor, step your two feet back, and pause when you get into an upper push-up plank. So we're gonna set up the flow. Connective tissue of the practice, I'm sure you've heard, it's always going to be intentional. So let it be really specific every single time. So we'll set it up from here. If you ever need the support, your knees can come down to the floor for support, just like you see filled in. On your inhale, you're gonna shift your body weight a little forward, and as you exhale, lower halfway, hover. Great. Inhale to scoop up your chest. Press straight through the arms for up dog, shoulders down the back. Press through tops of feet to hover above the mat. Now tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. All right, so we're gonna do that again. And we're gonna do it just a little swifter with breath. So inhale, roll the heart forward, upper push up plank and pause. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, scoop up your chest, lead with the heart. Beautiful, exhale, tuck toes, low belly in to lift your hips up for downward facing dog. Empty out your lungs, please. S H. Inhale, deep breath. H A. Ah. Awesome. On your next inhale, float your right leg high. With your exhale, step your foot softly between your two palms. Keep your back heel lifted and float your left arm up to the ceiling. Start to roll open into a twist. So you're gonna keep your back leg active, really straight and strong. So lift your back heel higher. Try to stack it over your big toe by rolling it forward. And then lift your, the back of your knee to the ceiling. And then pull your hip back as you pull your low belly in. Right now reach a little further, pull the arms apart from each other, give it a deep breath. 
and then exhale to sweep your hand down to frame your foot. Now rise up into a high lunge. So keep your lower body as it is. From the waist up, think mountain pose. Stabilize through your base. Keep plugging through your front big toe. Great, keep plugging through your front heel. And then again, lift the back of your knee up to the ceiling as you send your hips just a little lower to that lunge. Take a deep breath in. And then rotate your back foot down for a warrior one. Now you might give yourself a little bit of a wider stance so you can make space for your hips to peel open or if you're good where you're at, stay there. Keep plugging through your front heel to pull your hip back. Pull up on your back thigh to bump your hip forward. Now start to test those edges. Sit a little deeper into your lunge, but try to maintain the squareness of your hips. Scoop your low belly in. Take a breath. Reach up. Look up. Go slightly back. And then exhale your hands down to the floor. Step your front foot back and pause in an upper push-up plank. Bring your right palm to the center of your chest, and you're going to flip your plank to the side. So keep your fingers spreading wide, bump your hips up to the ceiling and your ribs up to the ceiling. Now, if you need the support that assist, you found it at the beginning of the class. So you're welcome to take that bottom knee and drop it down or keep your legs stacked. Give it one more inhale, maybe go for the float of your arm over your face or the float of your top leg. Nice, exhale, hand down and travel through a flow. Really awesome work. Deep breath in and up dog. And really complete exhale to scoop the belly in, float the hips up for a downward facing dog. All right, right. When you get to down dog, float your left leg high. All right, now use your low belly strength. Step your foot really softly forward between your palms. Keep your back heel stacked and then start to float your left arm up to the ceiling, rolling open toward your inner thigh. Looks really good, Jennifer. Think of rolling under your right shoulder a little bit more. Exactly, nice. Try to get your chin to stack over your top shoulder and then reach your arms apart from each other. Give it one more inhale to reach a little higher, roll your chest toward your thigh and then swipe your hand down to the floor as you exhale. Stabilize into your base and then float your arms up to frame your face for your high lunge. And it's a wobbly space. It's gonna move, it's gonna shift. It's always in motion. The balance is never gonna be a rick like fixed, rigid thing. Think of it as like a living thing, thing that's something that has to shift and move and change in order to look still, in order to look stable. Sit a little lower. Okay, scoop your belly in, take a breath, grow taller and stay. Now rotate your back foot down to the floor. Continue to feel your, the squareness of your hips. Return back to breath. Things start to feel a little bit spicy. Take an inhale to reach up, look up, and go slightly back. And then exhale to plant your palms down to frame your front foot. Step your front foot back, zip up your legs together, and then it's left palm to the center of your mat as you flip your plank to the side. Really good. Nice, Karina. Think bumping your hips up a little higher to the ceiling. Yes, so good. Go for the swipe of the arm or the float of your top leg. And even if it's just like an inch off your bottom leg, go for it and then just keep moving into it. So good. One more inhale and then hand down and travel through your flow. And when you get back into downward facing dog, it's gonna be a one breath, one movement. So you take it on your own, it's right side and left side. Um, if you can move through the one breath, one movement with your eyes closed, it's really only gonna serve you because it's gonna be a really wonderful way to start to test balance, to start to become a little bit more mindful of how you're moving through space. Um, really start to shift the perspective more internally rather than being dictated by external factors. Because throughout your day, numerous factors can influence how you feel 100%. But for right now, you are the architect of this particular experience. Every breath that you take is a new opportunity to make it feel really great. So keep coming back to breath every single breath.
love how everyone is going at their own particular pace. So good, really honoring what you guys want to feel every moment, breath by breath. When you get back into Down Dog, make sure it's still just as intentional of every single moment previous to it. So the intentionality lives in your, your hands, it lives in the muscle of your arms, it lives in that low belly strength to lift the hips up, all of it working. If you find a child's pose, let it be the most restful child's pose that you can take. Empty out your lungs. Inhale, really deep. Fill it up to the brim and release. Ah. Awesome. Take a soft bend to the knees. Look in between your palms. Step or hop to the front of your mat. Take a half lift right when you arrive. Long spine. And exhale to release. Let it go forward full. And what, make sure your feet are a comfortable distance apart, about hips width apart. On your following breath, sit your hips low, lift your arms up, and sit into a chair pose. All right, so send the hips down. Shift the weight more back into the heels. Scoop your low belly up and in, and try to stand a little taller from your waist up. Think heart forward and up. Keep the shoulders soft. Rotate the pinkies in and feel them rinse down the back. Stay here, empty out your lungs. Take an inhale through the nose to fill it up. Exhale, release forward, let it go. Make sure you're actually releasing. So maybe it's a lip floater that helps or a little sway side to side that helps or a shake out of the skull to release any tension in the neck. And then on your following inhale, it's hips low, it's arms up and it's right back into your chair. Now see if you can move with like as little anticipation as possible. Try to go right back to where you left off and pick it up and then start to deepen it. So if you can, send your hips lower, right? Then stand your heart like three inches taller. If you can, try to let your jaw be softer, right? Try to close your eyes. Try to soften the muscles across the face. Try to find a space that you can go deeper, which doesn't necessarily have to mean bigger, but just deeper. Exhale everything out. Shh. Inhale everything in. Deep breath in. Exhale four. Release it. Really beautiful work. Let it go. Shake it out. Sway it out. Flutter it out. Whatever feels nice and releasing. And then on that next inhale, it tips low. Arms up for your third and final chair pose. Now for this one, when you sit low and lift the heart, pick up the heels. Press into the balls of your feet. Lift your heels up and roll them forward. Nice. Now drape the arms back behind you like airplane wings, palms facing down to the floor. Think heart forward at the same time. Think armpits and shoulder blades back toward your hips. So really broad open there. Now take an inhale here. Exhale, ground your heels. Bring the arms back to frame your ears back into that regular chair. Stay low. Give it a deep breath in. Once more. Press into the balls of your feet, lift your heels, sweep the arms back behind you like airplane wings. You got it. Shoulder blades down and back, heart forward and up. Take a deep breath. One more. Exhale. Heels down, arms back by the ears. Stick with it. So good. Deep breath in. Exhale. Heels up, balls of feet. Press down, arms back by the sides. Last one. Take an inhale. Exhale, ground your heels, arms up, stand up, mountain pose. Inhale, reach up, look up, go right into your back bend and fall forward, release it. So good. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, let it drop. Hands down, step or hop back and travel through a flow. Full breath and up dog. Full exhale, downward facing dog. Empty your lungs. Inhale, deep breath in. H-A. Ah. On your next breath, lift the right leg up. Take it high, low belly strength. Step your foot really softly between your hands. Spiral the back heel down and pause. Float the arms back by your sides for a power lunge. Keep your low belly knitted in to float your torso off your thighs. Bring the arms back just like you did in that chair. Now interlace all 10 of your fingers. So you have this open fist to make your chest really open. Feel your knuckles press back, heart reaching forward, take an inhale here, and then sweep your arms by your face for your extended power lunge. So release that grip and float the arms down forward and up. 
Stay low in the lunge for a moment. Keep squaring off your hips. No belly, low belly knits in and then rise up warrior one and peel open into a warrior two. Nice. So you might make your stance a little wider here, trying to peel open your hips to the wall, to the side wall. So feel your inner front thigh and your inner front knee reach forward as you plug through the pinky edge of your back foot to peel open your hips. Okay. Now take your gaze toward your front palm, flip it to the ceiling, reach it forward, and then reverse your warrior. Reach up, 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 stay lifted, and then start to extend back. From the waist down, stay low. So keep that pin in your front knee. Plug your heels into the floor energetically. Pull them toward each other to light up your lower base. I'll take one more inhale to reach a little bit further back. And then cartwheel your palms down to the mat. Step your front to the back. Travel through a flow. Full breath and up, dog. Nice. Full exhale, downward facing dog. When you float your hips up, left side. Keep your left leg high. Really lightly step your foot forward between your palms. Spiral your back heel down to 45 degrees. Power lunge on left side. Keep pulling your left hip back. Keep pulling up on right side. Encourage right hip forward. Now bring your arms a little higher. Pinkies closer. There you go. Interlace your fingers. Pull your knuckles back. And press your heart forward at the same time. Looks really great, Wendy. Give it one more inhale to pull back. And then release that grip. Swing your arms down, forward, and up to frame your face. So there's a long line from your back heel all the way up your thigh, the torso to the crown of your head, and then rise up warrior one. Awesome. Heel open into a warrior. Set up your base. Plug through your heels. Light up your inner thighs. Take your gaze toward your front palm. Flip it. Reach it forward. And then find a reverse warrior. Again, from the waist down, you stay low, so keep that front knee bent. Your back hand can come to your back chin or thigh. If it's even wrapped around your back, you're using it to press yourself up and out of your weight. Scoop your low belly in, lift your side ribs higher for one more inhale. And then cartwheel your palms down to the floor. Step your front foot back and travel through a flow. And then take it as a one breath, one movement once more. So right side and left side all on your own. Now, as you move through these one breath, one movements, just right when you get back to down dog, start to move into it and know that you can make it yours. So if you want to leave anything out, leave it out. If you want to add anything in, if you want to linger, but try to keep it really synced with breath. I will say as much attention as we bring to like really specific body parts and alignment and cues, it's not even really the thing. It's just the road to the thing. The yoga lives in the experience, not in the perfection or the pursuit of it, but in the spaces in which feel like you might wobble. You learn to pick yourself back up. Or the moments that feel like a struggle and you learn to find uh, joy or ease or softness so yeah, clear, specific movement, but don't get attached to what it looks like. Again, stay totally invested in the experience. Right, when you're finished with that flow, we'll meet back in down dog. If you're there already, if you're still moving, if it's available to you, start to empty out your lungs. Inhale really deep through the nose and release it, HA. Uh, nice. Take a bend to the knees, bend between your palms, step or hot to the front of your mat. Take a half lift right when you arrive. Heart forward, tailbone back, and exhale to release. Let it go. Walk your feet together so you have one zipped up column of legs. So big toes touching, inner ankles touching on your next inhale, so the hips low. Arms up for Thunderbolt. 
So keep your legs pressed tight, arms are up and palms are pressed together. So you're gonna hook at your thumbs, but feel an internal rotation from the press of the pinky edge of your palms, your elbows rolling in for each other and your armpits rolling in for each other. Now with that, sit a little lower, lift your chest higher and bring your arms more back by your ears. So good, take one more deep breath here and exhale forward, full. Really nice, Kate, let it drop forward, full, let it go. Next inhale, hips low, arms up, right back into your second thunderbolt. Find that low seat and that lifted chest. Take an inhale to lift the heart. And as you exhale, bring your hands down to heart center, palms press right to center your chest and help to lift your chest high. And then start to twist. Hook your left elbow to the outside of your right thigh. Now try to keep your palms pressed and your forearms just right, like stacked on top of each other. Use the press of your palms to leverage a deeper twist. So as you press your top palm down into your bottom palm to roll your left shoulder underneath you, your right shoulder up and back, so good. Stay there with your ribs rolling open. If you wanna go a little deeper, fly away, but make sure your breath is still with you. You're gonna tee your arms apart from each other and use that to leverage a deeper twist. Give it one more inhale. Exhale, slow with control, come back to center, stay low in the seat. Scoop the belly in, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, twist to the opposite direction. Hook your opposite elbow to your opposite thigh. Nice. Keep low belly engaged, scooped in. Feel your ribs roll open across the spine. Take your gaze over your top shoulder. Then you have the option to stay with palms pressed or to go into a flyaway or a bind. Again, coming back to that idea, not about what it looks like, all about what it feels like. So how's breath? Really awesome. Give it one more inhale. Slowly bring it back to center, stay low in the hips, take an inhale to lift your chest, and exhale, fall forward, let it go. Half lift. Release, forward fold. Hands down, feet step back or hop back, and flow. So if you're hopping back, make sure you hop back with an elbows, just right into your chaturanga. And then as you inhale and up dog, make it the biggest breath that you can take. Awesome. Once you get back to downward facing dog, inhale, lift the right leg up and back. Step your foot really softly forward between your hands. Rise up into a warrior one as you rotate your back foot down. And then peel open into a warrior two. Set up your warrior two base. Take an inhale to grow tall. And as you exhale, it's a side angle. So tilt down, bring your hand to the inside of your front foot. All right now think of tucking under through your right butt and leaning your chest back if you're trying to press your back flat against the wall behind you. Take your gaze over your top hand. Looks really good, Janine. See if you can bend your front knee just like a little bit more. So awesome. Give it one more inhale here. And then as you exhale, drape the arm over your face. Reach forward to extend your side angle. So palm facing down, shoulders stay soft. Now, Dig your heels into the floor, scoop the belly in, and float your right arm up for a core strengthener. Now, if this is too much, you can bring your, your, your elbow to your thigh for a little shelf of support, but keep your belly scooped in. Give it one more inhale to roll your chest to the side wall. Exhale your left hand down and revolve your side ankle. So you're gonna step your back foot forward a little bit. That way you can keep your hips squaring, but you wanna keep your back foot glued to the floor. So pink, pinky edge still on the floor. If you need the support, you can drop your bottom knee down, but see if you can try it from here just with a shorter stance. Scoop the belly in, draw the hips back, reach high, deep breath. Exhale, bring your hand down to the inside of your foot for an ankle bind. So bring your right arm underneath your thigh, right behind your calf. Right, and I know legs are definitely probably probably like speaking to you through sensation. Just try to listen, stick with breath. Think hips up, shove the floor away with your palms, round your spine. Give it one more inhale here. And then exhale to unravel the bind of your ankle. Come back into that side angle, T open the arms. And then you're gonna drop your top arm behind your back as you go for a half bind, a half bind, you're just gonna slide your hand into your inner thigh, just like you can see Phil here doing, to roll your chest open. Nice. 
So now from there, if you can dream, bring your bottom arm underneath your thigh, grab for your top hand or wrist, grab your top arm straight. So good, one more inhale. And then release it. Bring both hands to the inside of your foot and pause. Drop your bottom knee, your back knee down. You can take a few sways front to back like you see Phil here doing to ease into your hip space. Ease end on a back rock and you're coming into a lizard pose. Now both hands to the inside of your foot. You can start there. You can also work your way down to your elbows, your forearms. There's no rush. Return back to breath right away. The mind starts to get a little busy. Shift your perspective and your attention, just simple things. Feeling of breath through nose. Breath expanding belly, pressing into head. Karina, she's doing great. It looks awesome. Empty out your lungs. Deep breath in. H-A. Ah. All right, now slowly bring yourself back up onto your palms. Tuck under through your back toes. Reach your front leg back and travel through the flow. Full deep breath in, up dog. Full exhale, hips high. Downward facing dog. And when you lift your hips up, we even it out on left side. So float your left leg high. Exhale your foot forward between your palms. Spiral the back heel down to the floor. Rise up into a warrior one. And then peel open into a warrior two. Set up your wider base, your strong heels, your activated inner thigh. Take an inhale to reach long. And then exhale your hand down to the inside of your foot. I like your friend Alina. And to the inside of your foot, <laughs> tuck under to your left butt and lean your chest back as you reach high to your top arm. Take an inhale to reach your arms apart from each other and then reach your top arm over your ear. So again, make sure your palm is facing down toward your face. That way your shoulder can stay soft. Right now, dig your heels into the floor, scoop your belly in, core strengthener. Float your left arm up to frame your ear. Right? And again, if you need that support at your knee, Rather, your elbow can come on your thigh. Roll under through your left shoulder, reach through left side body for one more breath. And then bring your hand down to the inside of your foot, your right hand revolve side angle. Step your back foot forward, make your stance shorter so that you can make that twist more accessible. Pull in the belly, roll toward your inner thigh, take the gaze high, take a breath to extend the arms. And then exhale your top hand down to the floor, the inside of your foot. It's ankle bind. Bring your left arm underneath the thigh, right behind the calf. Try to hold hands with yourself at the front of your ankle. You're going to shove the floor away with that grip and lift your hips up. Now, even if your back knee is on the ground, you got to still think hips up and head down to round the back. One more inhale here. Really great chain. And then unravel it. Back into that side angle for a brief moment. See the arms apart from each other, and then gonna drop your top arm behind your back. First, going for that half bind, palm to inner thigh. If that's clearly with you. Grab your top arm. Jennifer, that looks really awesome. See if you can grab your top wrist instead, and then try to press your top arm straighter. Yes, so good. Give it one more inhale. Roll your chest open, exhale, release it. Hands down to the inside of your foot. Find a rocking forward and back on your back big toe, ease into your hip space and on that back rock and then soften your back knee to the floor. Come into your lizard pose. Two hands to the inside of your foot. You're welcome to stay there. Maybe drop down onto forearms and elbow. Drop your head and round your back, but also at the same time, Feel for length of the spine. So think of reaching the heart out of the bowl of your head. Rounded but long. Good. 
more deep breath in to fill up back body. And on your exhale, start to bring your hands down underneath your shoulders, press yourself up and away from the floor, tuck under through your back toes and reach your front leg back and travel through a flow. Full inhale and up dog. Deep breath in, downward facing dog. Find empty lungs, exhale. Inhale. H-A, ha. Really nice. One last push before we start to slow things down. On your next inhale, float your right leg up and back. And on your exhale, bring your knee to your forehead. So you're going to tuck your chin, round your spine. Try to keep your hips lifted in space, back shoulders over wrists. Inhale to kick back and extend through the leg. And then again, it's knee to forehead. Tuck your chin, knit your navel in toward the front of your spine. Again, press the floor away. Great. Inhale to kick back. And then once more, knee to your forehead, keep your belly scooped in and step your foot really softly forward between your palms. Nice, keep that heel lifted back into high lunge. Lift your arms up to frame your face. Stay low, keep your back leg straight and strong. Looks really great. Take an inhale to reach high, press the palms over the top of your head and drag them down to heart center. Inhale, lift the heart high as you exhale. Hook your elbow to the outside of your thigh. Now, again, if support is needed, back knee can drop down, but try to stay here. Keep the back of your knee pressing to the ceiling. Keep pulling your right hip back in space. And then as you scoop in your belly, top palm presses down. You can fly away by teeing the arms apart or even going for that bind, similar like you did in that Thunderbolt seated prayer. Okay, give it one more inhale. Slow with control, bring it back to center. Keep low belly scooped in, reach the arms up, look up and go into a slight back bend. Chest up, reach your arms back. Beautiful, hands down as you exhale. Step your front foot back and travel through a flow. Nice, when you lift your hips up, inhale, float your left leg high. Exhale, navel to spine, chin to chest, round it out, knee to forehead. Keep hips lifted, shove the floor wet. Inhale, kick back, long through your leg. Exhale, knee to forehead, so good. Keep low belly scooped in, round it out. Great, inhale, kick back. Exhale, knee toward your forehead, try to make them touch, and then use that strength to really softly place your foot between your palms. Float your arms up for your high lunge on your left side. Feet like railroad tracks if that helps with balance. Plug into your, the whole of your front foot and your back big toe. Get low into your hips. Take an inhale to grow tall from the waist. Press the palms over the top of your head and drag them down past your face to your chest. Inhale, lift the heart high and exhale, twist to the opposite direction. Feeling that rotation coming from your lower abdomen rolling through your middle back and then all the way through your next spine as you look up toward the ceiling to test your balance. Awesome. Now start to fly away if you wish, tee the arms apart from each other, or maybe even going to, to a bind. One more steady, smooth breath. As you exhale, slowly come back to center. Inhale to reach up, stay low in the hips. Reach your arms and your chest up and go a little bit back. Nice, exhale, hands down to the mat, step your foot back and travel through a flow. Deep breath and up dog. Now when you get back to down dog, you're gonna take that as the last one breath one movement of the class. So do it on your own. High lunge with the prayer twist. Take your time, go fast, go slow. If you ever feel like rest is needed, it is always available to you, but I will encourage that the moments when you feel like you wanna hold breath, you want to stop, see if you can come back to the continuing to move and continuing to breathe. Right side, left side, and then we'll meet back and down.
if it's available to you, start to exhale everything out. Inhale everything in. Deep, 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 deep breath. And H-A. On your next breath, float right leg high. Expel it into a half pigeon on your right side. You're going to sweep your knee through, bringing your foot to the opposite side of the mat, thinking shin moving toward parallel as the direction, but definitely not pushing yourself past pain or held breath. Once you get to a space where it feels challenged but supported, stay on your hands, lift the chest for a second, feel a long spine, and then start to drape yourself down and forward. So think of like your body leading the way, the navel to center of chest to the center of your throat, just a straight line down your center. Find a space in Wigan that feels like a challenge, but allows you to stay. And come to a place where you can continue to invite that same watchfulness, just like the beginning of class. So especially in a moment where things might feel big or feel intense or feel, maybe it just feels simply really good. Come back to coming to a space where you can really become a watcher. You can really dive deep in becoming the witness. You can not get attached to just one thing, whether it be the challenge, or the sensation, but to noticing all things, the new space that you're making, the personal power that you can cultivate with something as simple as taking a breath. moment you feel like you want to leave, the moment you feel like you want to hold your breath, don't. Breathe deeper and try to stay. Slowly start to spill out your breath. Say you're totally empty. Now at the bottom of that exhale, take a really deep breath in and trace it. Feel it. Lift your chest, lift your back, expand your belly, hold it, and H it. Uh, over your next couple of moments. Begin to walk your palms underneath your shoulders. Press yourself up and away from the floor. Tuck under through your back toes to lift your hips up and reach your front leg back in space. Travel through a flow and make your way into downward facing dog. And ease out of it with care. No need to rush. Once you get back into downward facing dog with your hips up, you'll move into your left side on your time. So float high through your left leg. Sweep your knee through to the side of your mat and your foot to the opposite side of the mat. So knee to the left and foot toward the right. Now, a flex of your front foot, so to toes towards your knee, can be really helpful to stabilize the muscles in your knee joint if you're feeling any sensation there. Exactly, Karina, just like that. Now feel a lift of your chest and then start to drape your torso down and forward.
slowly start to expel your breath out. Take a deep, 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 deep breath in. And release. Uh, give yourself a couple more breaths. When you're finished, start to ease yourself out of half pigeon on left side. You'll make your way with hands under shoulders to lift the chest, tuck under through back toes to lift your hips, Keep your left leg back to move right, move through that flow and we'll meet back in the last down dog of the class. So when you make your way into that final downward facing dog, Notice your relationship to it. So maybe not how things feel different, but how you relate to how things might feel different. Openness, or tightness, how breath moves, how this particular down dog feels. And then we'll clean it up. So spread your fingers, press the floor away, lift your seat, heavy your heels, and press your chest back to your sides. And I inhale to roll the heart forward into an upper push-up plank. And on your exhale, on the count of 10, slowly lower all the way down to your belly. All the way down to your belly. When you get there, you're going to keep your palms stacked directly under your shoulders. So basically, just keep them where they're at. Elbows kind of stick up like grasshopper legs. Untuck your toes so the tops of your feet are on the floor, as you can see Phil here doing. You're going to press down to the tops of your feet. Low cobra. Start to peel your chest off the mat. So instead of lifting your feet, you're using your lower half of body to stabilize. Press down through your lace side of the feet. Contract your glutes to ground your hips. Feel the strength of your lower back. Peel your chest off the mat. Now think elbows back, shoulders back. Pin up, gaze up. One more inhale to go a little higher. And slowly lower. Bring your left ear down to the floor. Bring your arms back by your sides. Palms face up. And just release the effort. So if it's a little sway side to side that helps release the effort, if it's a lip flutter that helps release the effort, just let it all go. Let it release. All right, bring your arms forward in front of you, chin to the front of the mat, look forward, reach your arms forward for a superhuman. Take an inhale and then inhale, lift everything up and away from the floor. Press down through center. Reach through your long legs. So point to the toes, try to lift the legs a little higher. Bring your arms more by your ears. So turn the pinkies in, drop the shoulders down, take the gaze high, give it one more inhale. Slowly lower as you exhale, opposite ear to the floor, arms back by your sides and release that. Let it go. <sighs> All right, camel pose, hands under shoulders, press yourself up and away from the floor, and come to standing on your knees and your shins. It's gonna place them to about inner hips width apart. Place your palms on the small of your back. So with your fingers pointing down, draw your elbows together behind you, draw your shoulder blades together behind you, and then lift your chin and lift your chest. So first, grow tall. Use your hands to press your hips forward. Lift the heart high to lengthen out through your upper middle back. Keep that space really long. Now, if you can see the back wall, maybe you start to grab through your heels. You're also welcome to stay right where you are with hands at low back. So hips forward, heart high. Breathe the whole time through. One more inhale. On your exhale, slow and steady, come back. Hands to low back, sit your hips to your heels, and just immediately try to pause. So you can rest your hands in your thighs, press your palms at heart center, close your eyes, and completely pause. Try to let everything happen and do nothing about it. Every sensation, every thought that moves, let it be like a passing cloud. Exhale. 
Inhale. Exhale. Uh. Slowly start to flutter open your eyes, hands to the floor, and reach your legs out long in front of you for a seated forward fold. Take a few sways side to side with your hips. Find your sits bones, reach long through the legs, and reach high with the arms. As you inhale, grow tall, and as you exhale, dive forward. Maybe grab for feet, bend your knees so you can get your feet, and start to kick the heels away as you scoot your hips back behind you. Every inhale makes space, so feel the heart reach forward, and every exhale, start to pull yourself a little deeper. Inhale, heart reach forward. Exhale, pull yourself a little deeper. Give it one more breath here. And as you exhale, slowly start to roll up and stack your spine. So eventually your chin comes level to the floor and then scooch toward the middle of your mat with bent knees. So soles of feet on the floor. Reach your arms just straight in front of you, palms facing each other. Scoop the low belly in, take an inhale to lift your chest. And as you exhale, slowly start to roll down. Articulate your spine, so feel tail tuck, feel lower back, get each little vertebrae's own time on the mat. Use your low belly strength, try to keep your feet planted, and then as you make your way down to the floor, you're going to hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a tight seat. See if you can grab for opposite elbow, opposite forearm, maybe wrist, maybe fingertips. Take a little sway side to side, front to back, roll out your back. All right, then release the grip of your, your legs and allow your legs to lay long to the mat, your arms to rest easy by your side. Come into your final sit off. And take up space. Feel free to let your heels go to the corners of your mat, your toes to spill out to the sides. Relax your arms soft and easy by your side and close your eyes. And your savasana is just as much of a pose as any other throughout the class. So find it and then see if you can just leave it alone. Try to again come back to less what does it look like specifics and just get so totally captivated what it feels like. Thank you all so much for coming to class today. Um, I will end the class with a quote while you guys lay in Savasana in the final breath. Um, as always, yoga to the people is and will always be donation based. Whatever you can give continues to help give this yoga to any and everyone who needs it. Such a gift during these times. Thank you so much for creating that. I'm leaving the link for the donation where you can make it in the chat. So feel free to click on that if you're able to give. If you're not able to give, you can give in many other ways. You can post on social media, post about classes that you enjoyed, uh, spread the word, invite friends next time. Thank you all again so much uh, for your time and your practice. This quote says, what is required of us is that we learn to love the difficult. We learn to deal with it. In the difficult are the friendly forces, the hands that work on us. Right in the difficult is where we must have our joys, our happiness, our dreams. And there, against the depth of this background, they stand out. And there, for the first time, we can see how beautiful. We'll take one last breath together, start to empty your lungs out. Take an inhale deep through the nose. And release it. Uh, you're welcome to linger in your savasana for as long as you wish. Um, thank you all very, 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 very much for coming to class today. 
Um, also, keep a lookout throughout the week. We have classes at all times, many times throughout the day. Check out the website. Uh, we have breathing workshops throughout the week as well with Rose Erin. Um, so many exciting things that you guys can get involved in throughout your time at home. Thank you very, very, very much.